finished while I was in the middle of fighting Fastidio's boss. I was just about to kill it. <laughs> and my game crashed, so. <laughs> we're, uh, we're gonna see what happens there. Um, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> If I have to do that all over again, um, especially the whole going upside down part, because uh, I'm not about it. And if it makes me complete the city with puzzles and shit all over again, I'm gonna be really pissed. We're gonna see. Oop, my controller's vibrating right now. Uh oh. I literally like casted the last spell and as it was like he was in his pose killing the guy. Okay. Hold on, hold on. My headphones started glitching. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Well I yeah, I, I I hold on. Hold on here. Uh we'll do Bombardo. We will do Flipendo. And then we'll do Aristo Momentum. Let's try that out. Alright. Ooh, yes, I can throw the rocks now. Yes, please. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Yeah, my game was glitching a lot. What's your little gay ass speed, sir? Beautiful. Yeah, see, I was, uh, I was limited last time and I was kicking his ass anyways. Uh, yeah, come on, let's go. Ew. Oi. I don't like that he makes animal noises, or elephant noises, rather. Fucking Damn it. Hi. <laughs> Don't hit him, man, while he's down. Fuck you. Ow! <laughs> Damn it! Shit. You got me. Fuck you. Oi. Boom. Piece of shit. Just once, try seeing things from my point of view. Why do you look at things upside down, you motherfucker? That's not normal. You should see somebody about that. See, I'm doing really good like this. Yeah, see, you can't fuck with me. Oh, yeah, flip me around. Fuck you. Man, the game is all the fuck again. Please don't crash. Oh, thank god. <laughs> that was really dramatic. Well, well, finally. Someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. Can I please talk to him? I enjoy a good challenge. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. I love him. So, about the contract, 
I am a poltergeist of my word. <laughs> what are the terms? Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail? Specifically. Also, uh, his voice sounds very attention. familiar. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one yes. day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time mostly in peace. Greg Ellis. Greg Ellis. Greg Ellis. English actor. He was in Pirates of the Caribbean. Craig Ellis. Is he... Who is he in Pirates? Yeah, he's, um... He's the guy. With the wig. What else is he in? His voice sounds really familiar. Hold on. IMDB. So we know that he was in... He plays Log Doc and Theophilus, Theophilus Harlow in Fastidio. Okay. In this game. Lego City. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Okay, so he's like a really he's a really popular um He's the voice of Manfred in Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Manfred. Is that who I'm thinking of? No. Manfred. He's a little butler guy. God, his voice is so familiar. I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. Hold on. You better give me a hot second. <laughs> Greg Ellis. The Lion Guard. As a cartoonist. A World of Warcraft battle for blah blah blah. Sergeant Calvin. He's on Lucifer. Star Wars Rebels Baron. Elder Scrolls Online. Be cool, Scooby Doo. Killer app. Sophie the First. Transformers. He's a very popular. Or not popular, but a very. um... What? Dragon Age Inquisition Trespassers. Colin? Oh my god! Dude, I love Colin. Shut up. He plays Colin in Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh. Bite slip. <laughs> Oh, I adore Colin. Bioshock Infinite, he's additional voices. Tron Uprising. Skylanders, Tom and Jerry. High Fructose, oh, annoying orange. British Banana. He's on Days of Our Lives, shut up. Gravity Falls. Fish hooks, the Avengers, Diablo. Yeah, he's on a lot of shit. Wow, man. Yeah, I know I heard his voice before. Uncharted 3. Holy shit, he's in Cars 2, the video game. <laughs> Pirates, he plays Groves in Pirates of the Caribbean. Dragon Age 2, he plays Night Captain Cullen. Cullen's in Dragon Age 2? I've never played Dragon Age 2, so that's. <laughs> I've only played Inquisition, unfortunately. Clash of the Titans. He's on the Boondocks. What? He's in God of War. He's Hermes in God of War. Dude, what? This guy is fucking versatile as shit. Dragon Age Origins, Cullen. Since when has Cullen been on all these fucking Dragon Age games? I thought he was only in Inquisition. Star Wars The Clone Wars? He's Turk Falso. What? This guy's fucking everywhere. He's on Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> he was in Chronicles of Narnia, Prince of Per- Not Persia, what, what is it? Prince Caspian? On the Wii? <laughs> Dr. Duo, Bratz! <laughs> he's on Bratz! He's in- He's on Reno 911. What the fuck? Call of Duty 4, Beowulf. Dude, this guy's fucking everywhere. The Batman. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy? What the fuck? <laughs> and then he voices himself in the Pirates of the Caribbean video games. Um, or no, he doesn't voice himself. He voices uh, British officers. He doesn't. That was kind of. Garfield, the Tale of Two Kitties, Nigel. I know that the other kitty is Tim Curry, so I know that Nigel is not the other kitty. 
He's in the cars on a video game. I was like, he's in the fucking movie. What the fuck? Mad Mod, Teen Titans. Lord of the Rings. God damn, dude, this list just goes on and on and on. When is this stop? Final Fantasy. He is literally in everything. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. What the fuck? Dude, this guy's insane. He's been in, like, literally everything. What the fuck? I'm like, I'm still going. This is, like, page four. What the fuck? Treasure Planet. They had a video game for Treasure Planet? He's been on Invader Zim, Tarzan and Jane. What the fuck? Jackie Chan Adventures. <laughs> Empire of the Masquerade. Star Trek Invasion. He's been on the Wild Thornberries. What the fuck? The X File. What? The X Files. Oh, Titanic. He was in Titanic. Dude, what the fuck? Who is this guy? Carpathia Steward. Greg Ellis Titanic. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, <laughs> this guy's been everywhere. <laughs> what the fuck? That is fucking hysterical. Okay, what's in it for you? Why would you guy that's been everywhere in every fucking movie I'm ever? Banging about the place. It's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I <laughs> bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. What? Pleasure doing <laughs> business with you. I love him. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I nice. have a feeling about you. I love you. I, love I have you. to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Yeah, she did. I love him. I want him to be able to come out of this shop every night. I love this guy. I wonder if Penny is gonna be worried. If she's gonna be like really upset. I can't believe I just like found this like gold mine of an actor that's like been in fucking everything. Like holy shit. This guy's been everywhere. That is so funny, dude. I can't believe he plays Colin. Like, what the fuck? Dragon Age Origins. Colin. Colin. Colin Rutherford. God, I love that man. Oh my god! <laughs> Not low poly Colin. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I love Colin to death. Ugh, my man. Mm, my drug addict man. Ooh. <laughs> Zooming in on pictures of him. Mm. Mm. I do love Colin. I wish you could romance him as a gay man. Like, fuck me. They really, they really skipped out on that one. <laughs> a little bright. Alright, speak to Penny. Oh, that's really bright. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. Her hair looks ragged. You knew it was in the chest. You knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Why didn't another you fucking say something? St. Mungo's. I think you should explain, Penny. Penny, no, you fucking... please stop holding your breath. 
Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. Well, you work but for me now. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Do I not? Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. Okay, Penny. Why am I going to go speak to the authorities? That's a little much. So, like, what? Was I t screwed out of my money? I don't understand. Like, I own the shop, right? But then she's like, I thought you'd own the shop. Like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> Hold on. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason bitch. sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. Why would I... she do that? Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. Yeah. Well, yes, she said she did, but I think you might have missed the bit about the dungeon. No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before. Repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. What's in wrong with her? These are serious accusations indeed. You know, Perhaps shit. a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Oh yeah, let's kick this old bag's ass. Let's go. Ooh, let's fucking go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass, bitch. I didn't mean to step over that right camera, but Ooh, open up your door! Open up. <laughs> oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Uh, oh hell no! Oh, I'm gonna kick your ass, I bitch! Better than do business with a wild, stupid. Oh shit, my bad. Damn it. Good for you. The rest of the men are at the What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? Crazy ass shit, bro. <laughs> I don't like you. Arrest on earth are they teaching you at this school? <laughs> I should have known better than to do business with a wily student. Yeah. Why did she flip around because I protego? It's kinda weird. Yeah, watch this shit, bitch. <laughs> I am just kicking this bitch's ass. <laughs> How dare you make me look like an ass in front of fucking Officer Springer? What's wrong with you? Fight. I'm moving. Potato, stupid one. Can bring I kill you, bitch. <laughs> ah, 
I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Given that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. I will. Spony little traitor herself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. Ew. <laughs> Why was she doing that? Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Sweet. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Also, what the fuck is up with this officer? Oh, whoa, it just got really dark. Like, she got stupefied and was just, like, out. Like, dumb. Like, that's it. Girl, you make me fight. You're making me fight because you got one little stupefy on you. Are you kidding me? She's like, uh, uh, stop. Uh. Fucking busted that bitch's ass for you. Thought you're supposed to be a fucking officer. You suck. No wonder I took down a whole ass troll while you were doing I don't even know what. You had five people on you. I took down a whole ass troll with Sebastian and no one else. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Come on, Penny. I'm gonna give you my sock. I'm gonna make you a free alpha. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that his ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Aww. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Aww. <gasps> Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. Yeah. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. Mm. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If Aww. that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. Oh. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop, and Penny will take care of the rest. Oh, sweet. Vesters and Venom. Cladwell and Brewster. Stitches and Draughts. I like Vesters and Venom. I choose Vesters and Venom. That's Excellent cute. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank Aww. you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny. We'll be closing the shop by 9 o'clock every night. All right. Cute. Shopkeeper's coat. Oh, that's her hat. That's right. Oh my god, I forgot. The little hat. Oh my goodness. Oh, she is so cute. Stop. Wait, let me see. Where's the shopkeepers? Dragon hide. A house fanatic. Uh, shopkeeper's coat. Oh my god. And then there's a shopkeeper's sh sh shopkeeper's ensemble. Oh my! Hey, let's take out the gloves. Oh my god! I'm a little shopkeeper. <laughs> oh my god, that is cute. Let me talk to Penny. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. So. Oh, Penny will fetch a good price for what you'd like to sell. Uh -oh. oh my god, she is so cute. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. Look at she's got a little candy. Oh my god, I love her. Okay, let me see the let me see the sign out here. Oh my god, that is so cute. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. I love that. Look at how skinny his pants are. Oh my god. <laughs> 